Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I was tagged by the wonderful Danny Buttons. Or as she says, Daniel Denny Buttons. <laughs> um, in the summertime scavenger hunt. So this is the first scavenger hunt I have done. And I actually had a lot of fun. Took me a while to find all these items, but I did it. I don't know if it's an advantage having all these books or if it's a disadvantage. Because it's like, oh my gosh, what book should I try to find this in? <laughs> but I did find them all. The very first thing I had to find was a picture of a sun. So... I figured one of these items on this list had to be in Camelia Angelkova's book, 50 Summertime Mandalas. And I did find the sun. So the first one was a sun. A lot of items on this list were in this book. So, but I only wanted to use the book, each book for one thing. A number of these books had quite a few of these items in it, but yeah. All right. And I don't think I have any of these pictures colored, but that wasn't a requirement. So the next thing I had to find was an umbrella. So in Jade Summers Summer <laughs> book, Jade Summers Summer book, um, again, found a number of items in here from the list, but I only used one. This is my picture with umbrellas in. So, yes, this one fit that one perfectly. This is going to be a short video. <laughs> I wanted to use a vast array array, not array, array of my coloring books from a whole bunch of different illustrators. So I think I accomplished that. The next thing to find was a lighthouse. I figured there has to be a lighthouse in here. So I found this one. Nice big picture of a lighthouse. So again, fit that one perfectly. And this one is from Such and Such Deva's <clears throat> Stained Glass Nautical Designs, color by number. The next one I had to find was a picture of lemonade or citrus slices. So this is a book by Color It called Tropical Scenes. And I found this yummy picture. So we do have some lemons down in here. So I assumed this was a lemon slice. This kind of looks like a watermelon, right? But I figured this was a lemon. So we have a lemon slice and we have a seashell. <laughs> and we have an umbrella. <laughs> now this maybe is an orange slice so a lot of citrus slices because we have one here too lots of fruit in that one all right the next one was ice cream i don't know why this one took me a while to find but in sally berry's summertime book again found quite a few of these items in this book, but I used this picture for ice cream. It says, hello, summer. We have this big ice cream cone with some sprinkles on the top. All right, so crossed that one off the list. The next one was a picture of a surfboard. Again, a little bit more difficult to find, but I actually did find 
as I was searching through a bunch of books for the other items, I actually found a surfboard <laughs> in a number of different books. But I had already picked out one from, from Mythographic Color and Discover Paradise by Fabiano Atanasio. And we have a surfboard down here in the corner with him surfing on this big wave. So that's my surfboard. Then we had to find a whale. I figured there had to be a whale in this Zen Doodle Color by Number book because this one is Sea Life. This is by Jeanette Wummel. And here is this cute whale. Spitting out some water. <laughs> so that's the whale. Then we had to find a picture of seashells. And I found tons of seashells. Seashells. Um, but again, I wanted to get a vast array of different books. So I wanted to find one by one of, or one in my hardcover books. So I was looking through Hannah Carlson's books. This one is a Magical Dawn. And we have a page with three large seashells. I'm like, oh, that's a perfect one. <laughs> and then we had to find a picture of a cactus. Now, I knew that I could use uh, Color Questopia's cactus book, <laughs> but that was too easy. I did want to get color questopia in here somewhere because i love their books as well as belba family i couldn't find anything from belba family though so many of theirs are the mystery pictures so yeah couldn't really show them but one of my newer books and i know a lot of people are enjoying this book circle of life by this person. <laughs> I would never be able to attempt to pronounce that. I'd like to know how it is pronounced. But I found this picture with a whole bunch of cacti in it. And we have our, is that supposed to be a leopard in there? Possibly. So yeah, found a picture with a ton of cacti in it. Then we had to find a picture of a sports mascot. So I'm like, okay, my team is the Green Bay Packers. We have no mascot. <laughs> so that was impossible. And I didn't want to pick the Vikings or Bears or the Detroit Lions. They're all our enemies in this North Central Division. <laughs> So I was trying to think of the other football teams because that's the sport I'm most familiar with. Um, and so I'm going through, I'm like, okay, we have the Dallas Cowboys. I could look for a cowboy. We have the Atlanta Falcons. We have the New York Jets. Um, we have the Buffalo Bills. Well, I can't find a bill. <laughs> Except the bill on a duck, I guess. Um, so, I went looking through a bunch of books. I was looking in here, um, a bunch of the an intricate ink animals, um, for, I thought maybe there would be, um, a whale in one of these books, but I found the Peregrine Falcon. So, this is from the Atlanta Falcons football team. So, I did find their mascot. And then finally, as a bonus, this one was hard. <laughs> Show us your dream pet. Now, I'm assuming this could be a realistic dream pet or a fantasy dream pet. 
So like a fantasy dream pet could have been like a unicorn or, you know, something like that. My dream pet in real life is a Pomeranian. I want a Pomeranian or a fluffy, fluffy, pure white cat. I have wanted one of those for so long, <laughs> but I really couldn't find one of either of those. So I went kind of more on the mm, not so much realistic side because you would never want these as a pet. But out of the giant Color Quest book called Animals, because I looked through a whole bunch of books that were that contained animals. I just couldn't find anything but between pandas and koalas. I just love those. And when you look at the pictures themselves, yeah, you can't see anything. But we do have the answers in the back. So I found this adorable koala bear. So I am picking this guy. So yeah, it, it was either going to be um, a koala bear or a panda bear. Penguins are absolutely adorable too. I love them. But yeah, my koala bear. So that was the bonus picture. Dropping things all over the place here. So, now I have to tag some people. I am going to have this list down in the description below. Um, so, if these three people haven't already been tagged and have not already done this video, I'm not sure if you've been tagged already, then disregard this. <laughs> or consider yourself tagged again if you have not done this uh, scavenger hunt yet. Um, I will leave a link to Danny Button's channel and thank you very much for tagging me, Danny. This was a lot of fun. Um, but I think who I am going to tag is Shelly, the stitching colorist. Um, and Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. And lastly, I am going to take Nikki from Nikki in Niagara. Now, I know she hasn't been putting out many videos lately, so I don't know if she's going to be able to do this tag or not. Um, and Nikki, if you're watching this, that's fine. If you're not up to doing videos and stuff, I'm not sure what's going on. So, um, but I will link all three of those channels down below in the description. So Danny's and these three individuals, as well as I will provide the list of the items that you have to find. So again, this was a ton of fun, even if it did take me a while to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the books, the pictures that I found for uh, the scavenger hunt. I really like watching these tags and these scavenger hunts. It's so interesting to see what everybody finds in their collection of books. I love them and I always watch them. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.